the one philosophical problem that I've run across in this whole issue is in some concoctions of the multiverse theory, it's thought that, that you would have an infinite number of universes. And if you have an infinite number of universes, if you think about infinity, which is hard for us to, to conceive of, then there by necessity must be a universe somewhere out there where everything has progressed exactly the same as our universe has progressed, except that, you know, we make a decision a different way in that universe than we make in this universe, or that, you know, cause and effect doesn't work the same in that universe as in this one, and that, you know, and it starts becoming a, pro a real logical problem. You can't have a situation where, in Christian belief, where a person has you know, come to believe in God and given their life to follow Jesus Christ in one universe and then in a different one has made a different decision. It, it, it makes no logical sense. And, and Christian faith does rely on a kind of cause and effect relationship to be, to be effective that, that, and that God is reliable in a sense. So at some point, I think there's a, there's a philosophical problem with a construct that would have an infinite number of universes by necessity where every possible um, outcome of every possible decision and, and, uh, and progression of things has happened and is happening or will happen. I think that goes beyond logic. And so, but again, you, you ask whether or not these things can be measured. By our own understanding of physics and so forth, no. These are all philosophical constructs. Everything that we can measure by definition is within our own universe right now. So in terms of most of these discussions are, are mainly philosophical discussions right now. I wouldn't worry too much about them, actually.